Hey guys, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to solve our skill track daily challenge using Python programming language. Before going to logic, if you didn't subscribe to our channel, then subscribe right now and make our work more meaningful. First, we'll understand our question. The program has to accept the integer n and the n purchases that is the customer name and the purchase amount as the input and then the program must group the customers according to their purchase amount and a, a person belong to same group if they have same purchase amount and the program must the group must be printed in descending order based on the purchase amount and uh, name in each group should be printed in sorted order so first we are going to accept the integer n and the n purchases that is the customer name and the purchase amount and the program must group the customers according to their purchase amount a uh, person belong to same group if they have same purchase amount and the, pro the group must be printed in descending order based on the purchase amount and the names in each group should be printed in sorted order separated by comma so now we will take our test case so in this test case we have five purchases so the names and the purchase amount are given so let us order them in descending order so this is it and now for 1600 we have the name as MNO and then for 1500 we have three names so we'll start from the first that is GHI and then ABC and then JKL So next for 1200 so this must be the order in alphabetical order so this is it and then for 1200 it will be DEF so finally this will be our output. Now let us implement our program first we'll get the integer n and then we'll have the empty list called as the customer names and the purchase amount so after this we have to iterate over a loop 
that is for CTR in range from 1 to n plus 1 that is 1 to n and here we will get the name and the amount as the input so after getting the name and amount the customer names will be appended with the name and the purchase amount will be appended with the amount so after this we'll iterate over another loop that is for amount in sorted set of purchase amount comma reverse equal to true so here the purchase amount must be sorted in the descending order so we use this and then the name list will be equal to an empty list so after this we have the first we'll have a loop that is for index in range n if the amount is equal to equal to the purchase amount of index means then the name list will be appended with the customer names of index and and we have and then the name list dot sort of and finally we'll print the amount and use end argument and we'll print comma and use join the name list so now let us implement our program with our first test case yes we have got the correct output now we'll pass our another test case Here also we have got the correct output. Our program has passed all our given test cases successfully. <laughs> Hope you guys understand. Thanks for watching. See you next video.